Las Vegas City Council members want to prepare for the possibility of cashing in on our students' education. Thanks for joining us live at 5. I'm Trisha Keen. And I'm Joe Muller in for ABLE tonight. Now, the measure to break up CCSD didn't make it on the 2024 ballot, but that doesn't mean the issue won't be up for discussion again in the future. That's right. Our Jay Wan Jung shares why there's so much to consider if that happens. Nevada is still way behind other states when it comes to funding per student, according to Nevada Commission of School Funding Chair Guy Hobbs. Hobbs believes rethinking taxation might be an effective way to help pay for education. When it comes to K through 12 education funding, Nevada is behind. According to the latest report from the Commission on School Funding, in 2020, Nevada's per pupil spending was nearly $4,000 lower than the national average. Commission Chair Guy Hobbs spoke before Las Vegas City Council Monday to offer insight and answers as to why. Unless you can get people to agree that there is a problem, and that the problem is of a certain size, you never get around to solutions. City Council members met for a special session Monday. That's because an initiative last year to divide up Clark County School District caused a stir. If that were to come to pass, how are we ready to accept that responsibility? The initiative failed to make the 2024 ballot because of a lack of signatures, but the city council still wants to be prepared should the city ever be tasked with the responsibility of education. Hobbs says based on the commission's latest report, one way to help with funding is to change the way sales tax is applied. In the state of Nevada, it's only on tangible goods, and this is in the state constitution. So everything that we buy that's not tangible, so services and downloads and things like that, there's no sales tax. Even though sales tax has protections in the state constitution, Hobbs says it's still possible to tax services to generate revenue. Yeah. And it gets into sort of a quirky area of tax law, but if we don't call it a sales tax, we can do it. Hobbs says Governor Joe Lombardo's historic education funding puts the state in a good position in terms of per pupil spending for the next eight years, but he says we need to think beyond this. Reporting in Las Vegas, I'm Jay Wan Jung.